gonna be very very intentional about getting all questions right now so that it will build your confidence and love to be intentional in the exam board it's not in the exam board you will become intentional about getting all questions right sometimes getting the right information might just be all you need for an outstanding chambers And that is why I am here today to bridge that gap and then to let you also know how I was able to get 96% in my jam physics exams. In this video, I'll be talking particularly about physics. In other videos, I'll also talk about how I studied for chemistry, biology, English. And if possible, I'll also make a research from someone else because I don't write other subjects such as mathematics. But I can help you to make a research from someone else on how you will also be able to apply for and get outstanding results in mathematics, which I did not write. So my name is Emanuela, and I'm a 400 level medical student of the University of Ibadan. You are welcome to Medical Diaries, and if this is your first time of coming to our channel, please click on the subscription button and subscribe to this channel. That's done. Please, I would also like to get to know you the more. If you're also interested, I will also be um, talking about a mentorship program, which I would like to launch for all JAM students towards the end of this video. So please watch to the end and also let me know in the comment section what you think about the mentorship program. Now let's go ahead. So, there is a video where I talked about how I got 328 in JAM and 96 in physics. But in that particular video, I did not really major in how I got 96 in physics. I was much more talking about how I had 328 in JAM. So today, I'm going to be talking about how I had 96% in my JAM physics. Once again, my name is Emanuela and I'm a 411 medical student of the University of Ibadan. That's a student of medicine and surgery. So how did I have 96% in my jam physics, which means I actually failed basically two questions in the whole jam questions that came out. This wasn't done by magic. First of all, I will say I thank God for the results because if it was even beyond what I also expected. So how did I prepare for my jam physics? I made sure that I was so acquainted with all the formulas, not by cramming them, but by solving a lot of questions depending on the formula. For example, if I have a formula that has to do with dynamics, I'll make sure that I solve a lot of questions on dynamics. And this is how I solve the questions. I solve the question today. Tomorrow, I repeat the same question or a similar question. Then next tomorrow, I repeat a similar question not exactly the same question but a similar question for example if you are talking about how an object accelerated over an oil over a hill and you are asked to calculate the force you know force is equal to mass times acceleration but when it has to do with theta sine theta yeah when you have an angle or you have a uh, a meal, you know the formula changes so from 19 i, I remember when i wrote jam in 2017 uh, from 1990 um the past question was from 1970 something so what do i do i go from that 1970 something and check all the questions that have to do with that formula and i try as much as possible to solve all the questions there then i progress that way in all the years, I isolate questions that are specific with that formula and I try them as much as possible to solve them. So you do not cram champ um, physics formulas. You basically solve questions with them and that is how they stick. Again, you do not cram the formulas. You solve questions with them and that is how they stick. So what is your most difficult um, formula? to remember in physics so with your most difficult formula to remember in physics what you are going to do is to solve more questions without one that is very very difficult you're not going to run away from it you actually face it so another strategy in scoring very very high in your jam physics is by not using calculators right now to practice for your jam jam is not far away from now it is a few time away from now so what are you going to do try as much as possible to solve a lot of questions now without the use of calculators so when you enter the exam hall most times the use of calculators might slow you down in the exam hall and then also there might be some things you might not have enough time to make use of calculators and the calculators are also plain they do not have complex stops so you make sure that as much as possible you avoid the use of calculators when you are solving your um, calculations this is the best time to do it and trust me it is not yet late so please do not use calculators right now to solve your calculations try as much as possible to solve your calculations if possible get a full um, a full 60 leaves 80 leaves sleep and then 
it doesn't matter repeat the same question similar questions over and over again just keep solving your questions and with time you are going to get very very familiar with the whole stuff it is not far-fetched it starts small small and before you know it you get very very familiar with every single thing another one is also to get acquainted with your sine 30 sine 60 cos 30 cos 60 this is more of mathematics but they're also useful in physics so you try as much as possible to to get used to them so another thing you have to do is to check through the years and see questions that are always repeated not as though those questions will be repeated but to tell you how important some topics are so there are some topics that in jump year in year out they cannot do without save so um without um, bringing out questions from those specific topics so you have to go through the years line by line and as much as possible to write down those the questions from some topics you, you see that some questions are repeated many times from a particular topic so you try as much as possible to write down questions from that topic now the jump is still a bit um not so far away i hope you're not just reading i hope you're solving past questions you do not read just read read to cover the topics you read a topic and then you also solve questions on that topic i remember actually when i wrote my jam physics as much as possible i tried my best to cover the past questions and how was i doing that if i read a particular topic i try as much as possible to solve questions all the questions that are related to that topic i don't read all the topics at once and then start solving past questions no i'll read a particular topic then solve all the questions that are related to that topic my goal initially was not even to finish the past question but when the jump was when the jump was already present that is around the corner i found out that because i've been solving questions per topic i found out that i already even covered the past questions so please solve questions per topic do not read everything and then wait to later solve the uh, topics another bank i want to give you is the fact that actually you score your most um calculations give you your best results why do calculations give you your best results calculations give your best results in the fact in, in the sense that and when you solve calculations you are you are sure you are definite about the results you are definite about the answer but sometimes things like um, english language for example that you are m most likely not even um kindly solving like that sometimes it might look as though sometimes your answer might not be accurately correct but calculations give you your best result so try as much as possible to get so acquainted with calculations so that they will boost your total score once again my name is emanuela and that stuff i wanted to tell you about the mentorship program is that i want to start a live chat i want to start live videos with you once in a week to know your progress about that i want to be going live with you here on youtube to know your progress about jam to know how you are progressing how things are going with you about jam so if you're interested in that we can choose a date it could be on saturday evenings we can have an hour live video with you to know your progress with jam the challenges you're facing so that we'll be able to solve them and if you also have any question regarding this video please let me know in the comment section what is fear fear is um that's which does not exist believing in that which does not exist so if you're afraid of physics for example i would like to demystify it right now that physics is simple if anything is simple to some set of people it's because those people are not afraid of that stuff so right now i want to tell you that you should not be afraid of physics you should actually face physics because physics most likely is going to boost your score in jam because it is a calculation please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on your notification and if you want to support what i do or your parents want to support what i do you can click on the join button and then join the channel if you are looking at the whole syllabus at once i have a lot of things to finish up i have a lot to read i have a lot to study you find out that you get agitated and you're not even able to start so please do not look at the whole thing as a whole try as much as possible to look at it piece by piece you start small small and don't think that there's no time again just that now a lot even those that started preparing for jam now have a lot to cover and i know that you have even started before now so please just start it piece by piece and then you will as much as possible cover up and you as much as possible um get all you need I, another thing i want to talk about is building it in the mind you can also construct it in the mind in the sense that you can say that you you can be very very confident of solving jam phases to the extent that you you are so sure that no matter what you are giving you can solve it so try as much as possible to eat bones 
how do you eat oats? Dear conditions, dear, 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 dear to solve a lot of physics, dear to solve a lot of physics questions. That is wherever you go to, even when you wake up from sleep, just randomly open a physics question. This is when it is already very, very close to jam, like a week to jam. Just randomly open any page of past question and try as much as possible to solve that whole page. Try as much as possible to solve the whole page. But now that the jam is still a bit distant, what you are going to do is whenever you open past questions, Look for any question in a topic you have read and make sure you solve it. Do not leave any question. If you don't know it, sit with it until you solve it. See, when you are able to solve it, it builds your confidence. So do not ever neglect any question. Do not ever give up on any question because you are going to sit for the exam alone. So please do not ever neglect any question. Make sure that you do not neglect any question. All questions are very, very important. Even the ones you do not know, sit with them until you learn them. Don't give it to someone else to help you solve. Sit with it until you learn it. Sit with it until you are able to crack it. Sit with it. Sit with every question and do not look down on any question. So when you have entered the exam hall, make sure that you are intentional about any question. When you say a question you do not know, in the jam physics, most times I like to Okay, um, I, I like to do the physics first, but you can do your physics last. The reason I like to do my physics first is because I find out that calculations activate my brain and help me to do better in other subjects. So be very, very intentional about, if you are not intentional now about getting your questions right, do not make the mistake of being intentional in the exam hall because it's going to waste your time. So be very, very intentional about getting all questions right now. So like to build your confidence and love to be intentional in the exam hall. It's not in the exam hall, you will become intentional about getting all questions right. I remember there was this particular question that that's the only one I know that I, I've it was a question I, I I wasn't able to get the answer in the exam hall. So there was this particular question. I tried my best to get the answer in the exam hall, but I wasn't able to get it. And when I came out, I tried unraveling it, and I found out that I, by myself, I actually found out the answer. So try to be as, as much intentional as possible for each question. Do not ever give up on any question. Don't ever give up on any, any question. And it starts now, not in the exam hall. Right now, whenever you wake up, try as much as possible to solve any question, just activate your brain in the morning by solving any question. Just open a jam question and solve any question. I cannot also overemphasize the importance of praying. Pray as much as you're reading. Pray, pray. But if you don't put in your efforts, what will God bless? So put in as much as effort as possible. I'm also going to make a video on how to force yourself to read for jam exams. How to force yourself to read for jam exams. Sometimes there might not be motivation. Sometimes some things might not be there. But you just have to force yourself to read for it. Again, please subscribe to this channel. And see you next time. Bye-bye.